Oh my god, I just no-scoped and got a triple headshot. That was sick. <laughs> Jacob just creeps out. He's like, what did he hit? One headshot. Two headshot. I see the third guy. And I'm like, oh, I've got two headshots. Let me just nice. shit in your face. Dude, that was pretty cool. How is it going today, my friends? As always, I hope you all are having yourselves a fantastic day. Okay, into free-for-all we go. Okay, I'm going to have to ask you to calm down, sir. Hey, Mr. Face Carl. Hello, Mr. Swings. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Not gonna lie to you guys, sometimes the things I do, they're pretty fucking stupid. See, what I like to do, I like to wake up early, somewhere around 7 in the morning, get all my shit done, like eating breakfast, all the normal morning things. I do all that stuff, and then I wake up, get on Xbox, and start trying to record a video at around like 9 a.m., something like that. And as you can see in this little corner right here in between the two doors, there's like a little laundry room dealio with the washer and the dryer. Now, I told Alicia's mom some months ago that I would be taking care of the laundry for everybody because if the washer or the dryer is running when I'm trying to record a video, all you hear is the washer or the dryer running when I'm trying to record a video. So like when I'm editing a video, if the dryer or the washer is on, all I hear is that, pretty much. It's just so loud, the mic picks it up so well. But honestly, if it were only up to me to do the laundry the past month, these people wouldn't have any fucking clothes. Thankfully, Amanda has been doing it too. But yeah, I did tell her that I would do the laundry because it's just a disruption for people to be trying to do laundry when I'm trying to record a video. So I said, hey, I'll do it. And since I haven't been doing it these past couple of weeks, I'll wake up and I'll come out here maybe like 30 minutes later than usual, and the washing machine or the dryer is already running, and I'm like... Well, can't record a video. I'll kind of get a little pissy, like, ugh. Why would you start the washing machine this early? But Carl, it's your fucking fault. Why are you bitching? Like, I have no reason to be mad if it's literally my fault the laundry has to be done in the morning. Like, if I would have just, say, done a load or two last night, it wouldn't matter. But no, here I am sitting here complaining about the fact that there's laundry going when it's completely my fucking fault. Might as well just slap myself in the face because I'm the one to blame. But yeah, recently I just haven't been the most colorful crayon in the box. I'll, like, see all the laundry on the floor and I'll know I have nothing going on. Like, I'll just be about to go watch some Netflix or I'll be getting ready for dinner or something among those lines and I'll see their laundry in there and just pfft, don't even think about it Carl it's not even like it crosses my mind like oh I should do their laundry literally I see it and I just walk away I just care so little about doing the laundry that I'll just look at it and it won't even come to mind and that's pretty stupid considering I'm the one who said that I would be doing the laundry I just felt pretty stupid after I was like complaining to Alicia's mom because I did tell her that I was gonna be doing the laundry and she's just trying to get you know some clothes so that she can work out and some clothes that don't have sweat all over them like, nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to work out in dirty clothes. She isn't gonna not do the laundry just because, you know, I'm trying to record a video in the morning. Like, she needs clothes and shit. Honestly, if it were up to me, the entire world would be naked, but let's not go there. Boobs and dicks and butts everywhere for everybody to see. That's the world I want to live in. Or that's the world I definitely don't want to live in. So many fucking old schlongs just hanging out. Oh, no thank you. After watching one of FaZe Rain's videos the other day where he was just talking about like how much leaving a like on the video means to us, and he explained to everybody that likes isn't what gets us money, but likes is what like makes us happy. Like if we see that a video does like abnormally good in ratings wise, we're like, yes, I knew that was going to be a good video. Fuck yeah, that's awesome. But if a video does like just a little bit worse than another video from like a couple of days before, we just feel like what did we do wrong, you know? Were we not funny enough? That's And that's how I felt recently. I've just felt like my videos aren't funny enough because my ratings and my views are all going down, so I just feel like shit's going down the pipe. Shit's going down the shitter, not the pipe. What the fuck? And that's how I felt recently about pretty much all my videos because all of my ratings and all of my views are down compared to what they were like in July and June, for that matter. Like, there's videos that we upload that some of them take, like, between an hour and two hours in editing, and then there's some that, like, just take all sorts of thought when it comes to recording and editing. And those are the videos that we just love to see do good. But the thing is, as YouTubers, we just want to see all of our videos do good. We want every single video that we upload to be just a quality upload that people like to see. So when my videos start to do bad and when, you know, my videos aren't doing as good, I just feel like I'm totally not doing something right. I just feel like I'm not entertaining enough. I feel like I'm not doing something right. And that's pretty shitty for me to feel because there's a lot of people who just tell me, hey, you're doing everything right. I watch your videos every single day. But then there are still the few people that just don't watch me anymore because I guess they just don't want to. I don't know. But when I was watching that video that Rain made, I, I just couldn't help but agree with him on every single little thing he was saying, that we don't want people to like the video to, like, get more views, we just want people to like the video so that we know that they actually enjoyed it. And he just couldn't have been more right on that, like, he could not have been more spot on.
Good job, mate. I'm not sure why he left the game for doing that. That was beautiful. Why wouldn't he want to own up to the fact that he just did that? You know, I, I think he left because he just didn't think we could handle that bill cam. It was just too good. Uh, I mean, I myself, I myself want to change the name in that kill cam and use it for me. I, like, it was just too good. Like, honestly, man. I'm just going to follow that kid around, and he's going to hit all my clips for me. I'm just going to steal them all. I'm just honestly hoping that you guys understand just how dedicated I am to this. Because, yeah, my ratings and my views may be half of what they were two months ago. Of course, I care about that, but why would that stop me from doing this? Why would that stop me from making more videos? That sh that's just motivation to keep going. That's just motivation to try harder. If failing doesn't motivate you to succeed, then honestly, don't even try. Because if you fail once and just give up and don't try again, what you were trying to do clearly wasn't worth it if you're just going to give up. I know for a fact that making YouTube videos every single day is what I love doing and it's what I want to continue to do. My channel may not be getting the same views as it was in July, but that's motivation right there. That's motivation to get the views better than they were in July. Yeah, it really does suck that not as many people are interested in watching me, but I just got to get those people back. I just got to get them interested again. I know this is something you hear pretty much everybody say, but with time, things will get better. If I am patient, good things will happen. And as stupid as it seems for it to be so simple as just to wait, yes, if I wait and I just keep trying and I just keep doing what I'm doing, good things are going to happen and my channel will be back to where it was. So long as I think that, so long as that I believe that and I keep trying, then it's going to happen. Because what good would me saying, oh, my channel is going to die? Like, what good would me saying, oh, shit's just going to hit the fan, I'm never going to be uploading YouTube videos again? Like, why would I say something like that? If I'm just patient and I just wait out this bad situation and I just keep working hard, my YouTube will be back like it was in July in no time. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you would please leave a thumbs up for that sick triple headshot kill cam and just because you know how happy that would make me if you left a like on the video. And as always, my friends, I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic day, a farewell, and a goodbye. Here comes the... Woo!